So the next step is looking at our motivation and sort of level of challenge. So I set a goal as I will turn in 75% of my homework this quarter. All right, that's my time. 75% makes it measurable and specific. We're talking about my homework. I will do it. It's assignable. And it's realistic for me because 100% would be too hard because I didn't turn in any homework last uh, quarter. Or I turned in some homework, but not enough to pass. So 75% is a hard goal, but one that I can reach. So I check it. How challenging is this goal for me? For me, it's actually going to be very challenging. Okay. If that is true for you, if you put very here, you want to really double check it and make sure that it's not too hard, right? That it's realistic. So really be careful there. If it's not at all challenging, same thing. You need to change it. Like there is no point. It's a waste of your time to fill out the sheet if you're just going to put something that you either are already doing or is super easy for you. That's a waste and you're not going to grow from it. All right. Challenging somewhat challenging for you. Okay. Right. But again, if you're on either of the ends, it's time to kind of rethink and check your goal. Can I do it? Yes, definitely I can do it. Again, if that's because it's so easy, might want to change it. If probably not because it's way too hard, then I might want to change it. It should be somewhere in the middle. Or yes, definitely just because I'm super confident and super motivated to achieve this difficult goal. How motivated am I to achieve this goal? If I'm very motivated, that's a really good sign. Like if this really matters to me, then it's pretty likely that you're going to put the work in to achieve the goal. If it's not, I'm not at all motivated to achieve this, if I don't care really about turning in 75% of my homework, if I'm just say, setting that goal because I know teachers want to see that, again, I'm completely wasting my own time, but also I'm not going to achieve that goal because I don't care about it, right? When things get hard, if you're not motivated, you're going to quit. It's that simple. So you really want to make sure, again, if you're not at all motivated, do not have this be your goal. Ideally, you're very motivated. Choose a real goal that's motivating to you. Don't just try to give an answer that you think people want to see or that your teacher wants to see. Come up with a goal that you really want to achieve. And if that's the case, then you're going to achieve it. And then explain why, because this will help you understand how motivated you really are if you're not sure. So if my only answer for why I want to achieve this goal is because my parents want me to. That is a terrible motivation, right? If it's just about other people, I'm sorry. Again, when it gets hard, you're not going to do it. You need motivation that is for you. So maybe making your parents proud is important to you, but it's probably not going to be enough for when things get hard. So I need to think this through, and it's like, well, honestly, I don't want to have to stay for homework club. I want to hang out with my friends. Now, if that's the case, okay, that's about me. And let's be honest, like all of your motivation doesn't have to be about is good for my future. And really, if your motivation is about something that's really far away from now, it's not going to help you. So if it's about like, I want to hang out with my friends more, I'm sick of homework club. Fine. If that's a real motivation for you, put that here and use it to help you. Right. But if you can't explain why without using a reference to other people or something that's way far in the future, you need to find another goal or really dig down deep and figure out why do you really want to do this so that when things get hard, you have something to reference.